Welcome back to IMAMuseum.org. I'm Max Anderson, the Melvin and Brand Simon Director and CEO, and we're standing on this brisk autumn afternoon in a very warm glass house, one of five in the Indianapolis Museum of Art's Madeline F. Elder Greenhouse. Tell us a bit about the history of this remarkable place. Well, uh, this is one of the outbuildings of the Old Fields Estate, and this house was actually constructed in the 40s on the foundation of an older greenhouse that had become in a state of disrepair. Hey, the ceiling is moving. Tell us about what's going on up there. That's part of our new uh, step into the 21st century. Our vents actually open and close using um, a computer. In the old days, and every time the sun went behind the cloud, we'd have to run in and open and close the vents in response to the temperature change. Sue, I see a large variety of plants. Give us a sense about how this mixture came to pass and what we're doing here. Uh, hmm? Some are historically appropriate and others are just what's the fashion trend of the moment. So this is very much like an art museum. We're cultivating plants that are of interest in a contemporary style, but we also have historically accurate plants in relation to right. the past. This is ultimately going to be our interpretation space where we will link better to the old fields properties. We want to tell that historical story. Mm -hmm. People will be able to walk in from Lily and get a feel for what a conservatory greenhouse would have done in the heyday of the estate. Mm -hmm. We're standing in the shop of the IMA Greenhouse and we're here with Lynn Habig who's going to tell us a little bit about some of the things that are both underway and planned for the shop. Hi Lynn. Hi there. Uh, one of the things that we're very excited about is our signature series that will highlight the plants that we are known for on the grounds, both the modern section and the historical section. And what makes us distinctive as a shop in this community, would you say? I think the fact that we have very unusual shop material that you won't find in box stores and major retailers, from the ridiculous to the sublime, right. but all with a nature-related theme. Thank you once again for visiting imamuseum.org at the Madeline F. Elder Greenhouse. Come back soon and we'll give you some more insight into our remarkable grounds and collections at the IMA.